Hello everyone, WorldPixel here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android x86 in VMware. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications from the bell icon so you never miss a video. First things first, you will need an ISO image of Android 86 and VMware installed on, uh, on your computer. I'll have a link to both of them down in the description. Open VMware. Create a new virtual machine. Select typical. Click next. Browse for the, for the ISO image you just downloaded. Select it. Press open. It will detect as free BSD. Uh, leave it like that, don't change it. Otherwise your system won't boot. Click next. Give it a name. Okay, click next. Uh, now select the storage you would like to allocate for the, for the virtual machine. I'll say 32 gigs. Click next. Now go to customize hardware. I'll give it two gigs of RAM. Here it depends on how much uh, RAM you have. Uh, usually it's good to allocate half of what you have. So if you have two gigs, only give it one. But I have eight gigs, so it's okay. I'll give it two. Anyway, it won't use more than that. Uh, for CPU cores, I'll give it four. I have four cores, so I will allocate all of them to the virtual machine. And now we need to go down to display and enable uh, 3D graphics. The system won't boot if you don't enable this. You will get an error, but just ignore it. Now click close and finish. Now select install and press enter. Here we will uh, select the create modify partitions and we will uh, create a primary partition for the operating system. Press enter. Do not use GPT, so select no. This uh, MS-DOS-like uh, environment will come up. And we need to select new, primary. And the uh, space is already allocated, so press enter. And now go to write, type yes. And press enter. Okay, now we can quit the, the disk utility. And we can see the partition has been successfully created. So press enter here to format it. Format it as ext4. Yes, we want to format. We need to also to install the grub bootloader, otherwise we cannot uh, boot the operating system. So yes, and we want the system directory read write. Okay, now the installation process has started. It will take a few minutes, so I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, so the system is uh, successfully installed. Now go to reboot and press OK. Okay, so the system has rebooted. Now select the first option.
now that the system has uh, successfully booted up, you can see I'm using uh, Lineage OS. There are a lot of versions on uh, Android x86 uh, website, but I choose this one because it's the most uh, stable version uh, they have. So click next, select your language. And we want to set up as a new device. It will check for updates. It will take a minute or two. Okay, so here I will uh, sign in with my uh, email address. password then agree to the terms Click next and I'll disable the backup and everything else. I, I don't want Google to be tracking the virtual machine. So no thanks, all set. Yes and press start here select this one don't use taskbar it's uh, it's broken in this version of uh, of uh, android so don't use it okay so we are done that that's it let's try to open youtube And let's just open a random video. And just open something with uh, no copyright. We can open also the browser. The browser works. So this is also a good uh, operating system to put on an old laptop, like if you have uh, an old laptop like with Windows XP or something. This is really, really good uh, alternative. It will um, work very well on uh, on older laptops. Or if you want, you can dual boot with uh, Windows. If you want to have Android native uh, running on your uh, on your computer. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.